The fastest way, the quickest way to build an email list of people so you can sell to them is to offer them something of value in exchange for their email address. In other words, a lead magnet. Through a lead magnet, simple PDF, cheat sheets, quick start guides, checklists, these all work really well. And if you stick around, I'm going to tell you where so many people go wrong with lead magnets, why it is they can't get people to download them, and when they do manage, they can't convert them to customers because I see this all the time. But you're not going to make that mistake because I'm going to cover that later. So using Kajabi, I'm going to show you the correct way to set up and build your email list and connect your lead magnet using Kajabi. And if you don't use Kajabi, why not? Kajabi makes it really easy. And if you want to try Kajabi, I've put a link below that will get you a free 30 day trial. So with that out of the way, let's get to setting this up in Kajabi. Here I am in the Kajabi interface. Now, to make this easy for you, we're actually going to start working backwards. And this will make sense as we get going. We're going to start by creating the thank you page. So over here on the left hand side under website, we want pages. Then we want landing and then new landing page. So I'll scroll down in the landing pages section all the way to thank you. I'm going to click view all and then this one here, Duncan. That's a nice, simple landing page. I'll give it an internal title. Now only you will see this title. So I'll use lead magnet thank you page and click create. And for this example, I'm actually going to use one of my lead magnets, what coaches and content creators should do if they want to look really professional on video without spending a lot on equipment. So I'm just going to change this text here. I'll just highlight it and I'll just paste in some text I've created. Ready? Click save. And in fact, if that's something you're actually interested in, I'll actually put a link to the guide below. Anyway, that's our simple thank you page almost finished. But now we've got to upload our lead magnet and we've got to give them a way to download it. So what I'll do is I'll select this button here. And then under button action, where it's got go to URL, I'm going to select that. I'm going to select download a file Then I'm going to pick a file from a local machine. I'm going to select that there gear guide, click open. So that's the lead magnet uploaded. I'll just change this text here from back hop to home. I'll just change that to download your guide, hit save. And that's the thank you page completed. Now I'm just going to navigate back to the landing pages up here because what we actually need now, we actually need the URL for the landing page because we're going to need that later. So there's the lead magnet thank you page there that we've just been working on. So from these three little dots here, I'll click that. I want edit details. And then you see this here. This is the actual URL to the thank you page. So I'll copy that and we'll save that for later. Now, before we set up the opt-in page and create the form to capture the email addresses, I want to address one point and it's important. One major point, a mistake that I see so many people make and when they do, they're like, why is nobody downloading my lead magnet? And if they do manage to get some downloads, they find it really hard to turn these leads into customers and they've got absolutely no idea why. So I'm going to tell you, here's the thing. It's got nothing to do with how fancy your lead magnet design is or how information packed it is. Nope. You've got to ask yourself a few really basic questions before you head over to Canva or wherever and you start designing your lead magnet. Does my lead magnet answer a question or cure a problem that is currently on their mind? And the big word here is currently. Let me give you an example. If I was launching a course for people who wanted to build an email list, I could come up with the idea for a lead magnet that shows how to choose the right email provider because I know that's important. But that would be a terrible idea. Why? Well, and this may be an important topic to cover and it's something that they are going to need to know, but it's not something they've even thought of yet. They don't consider this to be an obstacle. I'm providing a solution to a problem they don't know exists. If I did that, few would download it and even fewer would read it. And I wouldn't be positioning my audience ready for when I want to pitch to them. Rule 101, and then we'll get to setting this up. Rule 101, your lead magnet needs to be addressing something they currently see as an obstacle. It needs to be addressing an objection that would stop them from moving forward. And most importantly, 
it needs to be positioning them to become a paying customer. Give them a quick win and provide a solution to what's currently on their mind. Anyway, let's get back to setting this up in Kajabi. So we have the thank you page set up and we've got the lead magnet uploaded. Next, we need to set up the form and you'll see why shortly. From the left under marketing, we want forms, new form, give it an internal title. I'll call it gear guide download and then click save. Down here are the fields that are going to appear on the form when they opt in. These are what are going to be attached to the form on the opt-in page. I usually leave it at name and email. The easier it is to sign up, the more signups you'll get. Now down here under automations, I'll click add automation. We're also going to set it up to send a thank you email. And we're also going to put a downloadable link in the email too. So they can re-download it later if they need to without having to go through all the whole process of signing up again. So when form is submitted, gear guide download, then send an email. I'll change the subject line. I'm going to paste in a quick message like that and then what I'm going to do now this here I'm going to turn this into a clickable link so I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to paste in the link that I saved from the thank you page so with that highlighted I'll just click the little link button here and under URL I'll just paste in the link click OK this is now a downloadable link and then I'll click save now automations are really powerful and you can add more than one automation to an email if you like in fact, I like to tag people who sign up so I can segment my audience and send out custom email campaigns based on what they opted in for. So I'll use automations again. Add automation. This time when form is submitted, gear guide download, then I want to add a tag. I'm going to add a new tag. I'll call it gear guide download. That's a new tag. I'll hit enter. So now when form is submitted, gear guide download, it's got to add the tag gear guide download and then click save. Lastly, scrolling up to the top here after submission, this box here, send the contact to a custom thank you page. That's what we want. So I'll select that. Then from the drop down box, I'll select download gear guide. Thank you. So what's going to happen? When they sign up, when they fill in the name and the email, it's going to add a tag, gear guide download, and it's also going to send them an email. Here's your gear guide. Then it's going to send them over to the custom thank you page. So with all that set up, I'll click save. All we have to do now is create the page where people will actually sign up. We've taken care of all the, the technical behind the scenes stuff. So. The next step is to build out the actual opt-in page. So I'm back in the Kajabi dashboard and from the left hand side we want website, pages, then landing, new landing page. Now we don't need anything too fancy. In fact, simple and clean works best where opt-in pages are concerned. So I'll scroll down to opt-in, click view all, scroll down. And we'll use this one here, streamlined opt-in. I'll select that, click get started, give it a title, and then click create. By default, Kajabi's give us all these sections here that we could work with, totally customizable, but I found that simple opt-in pages work best. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to the left. I'm going to click these little three dots. I'm going to, and then I'm going to hide each of the sections that I don't want to use. I'm going to change this headline for a nice benefit driven headline. So I'll just copy and paste that in. Just paste in a bit of text. Then click save. Then I just need to edit the downloadable box. So I'm going to paste some text in here. Just change the headline. Paste in some text. With that done, what we now need to do is add the form that we created earlier so people can enter their email address and details. So I'll just click edit form to display. And then from the form drop down box, I'll just select gear guide download. And lastly, this button here where it says submit, I'll just edit that. I'll just change the text because I don't really like the text on it. And we'll put download now. 
And of course, if we wanted to, this image here that's in the background, we could change that. We could change it to a color. We can do whatever we like. It's totally customizable. So with all those changes done, I'll hit save and then let's test it out, see if it works. So I can preview it, enter my details, enter my email address, and then click download now. There we go. There's the thank you page. I'll click download the guide and there's the guide. And that's how simple it is. And to prove it works, here's the email that I've also been sent. But if you want to know, you can turn this simple opt-in page into a dangerously good sales funnel that generates sales from a cold audience. Then you're going to want to watch this video next.